Mark Brindle's office. Mark Brindle speaking. Hey, this is the first time I've ever done a review of an album by a band that I might end up reviewing anyway. The deal with the Action Swingers is they only have five records uh, and... In the right place? Can you see me? I, they only have five records, uh, but I, the reason I wanted to play this one for you on a video is, is I think it, it's better for you to hear it than to just read about it because th this is how it was presented to me. I, um, after my sophomore year in college, uh, 1992, 93, I went home for three months in the summer, then came back, and Chris Palmatier, who was a friend of mine at the radio station, WXYC, saw me when I came in, and we chatted for a little bit, and he said, oh, you gotta hear the new Action Swingers album. And I said, well, I know the Action Swingers. I know their Red album, that noisy sort of early grunge noise, garage stuff. It's a very good record. And I know the uh, second Action Swingers, the more fast numbers. You know, I know what the Action Swingers are like. I, you know, they're good. I, you know, great. And he said, no, 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 you got to hear this one, Decimation Boulevard. And I said, well, okay, let's go in and listen to it. And he put it on, started playing it. And I said, yeah, that's the Action Swingers. That's what they sound like. That's kind of what the Red Album sounds like. You know, it's kind of what more fast numbers sound like. That's what Ned sounds like. Ned is the leader of the band. Uh, Ned Hayden? Hayden, maybe? Ned Hayden? Hayden? Um, but then Chris Palmatier said to me, no, 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 no. Listen closely here. Track two. Track four. Track five. Track six. Track 11. Track 12. Track 13. Finally, track 14. In other words, if you're a Ramones fan, your next purchase should be Decimation Boulevard by the Action Swingers. If I reviewed it, I would probably give it a 10. It's 14 songs. Now I don't want to be defective. Now I don't want to be defective. 14 songs, 21 minutes. One of my, probably, well, definitely one of my absolute, now I don't want to be defective, now I don't want to be defective. Definitely one of my favorite punk albums of the 90s. Again, it came out in 1993, Caroline Records. Uh, possibly one of my favorite punk rock records of all time. Track one's kind of slow, after that it just never lets up. Action Swingers. Their other records aren't like this. More Fast Numbers has a couple of fast songs. This one has, oh sorry. More Fast Numbers has a couple of fast songs. This one has maybe one or two.
But this was it for the Action Swingers. After that, all they did was uh, they put out a live album, and this is like uh, sessions from what would become Decimation Boulevard. I think they had a different lineup on every record, I think. Uh, Ned was the only member who was on all of them. Um, and the other players on this one are guitarist Chris Crush, bassist Dave Lindsay, drummer Ned Brewster. And I just wanted you to hear it because I think it's better to hear it than to uh, um, eat it. You know, because I tried to eat it earlier. I'll, I'll tell you. But first of all, it kind of cut the back of my tongue. I don't know, I started choking, a little bottle came up. So, whatever it is, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I'm searching for kicks. Song titles include, I don't wanna be this way, any way that you want. How do you work this thing? I can't get no action. You only know my name. Uh, you better keep your, that's pretty Ramonesy. You better keep your big mouth shut. Anyway, uh, the title is, of, is of course, uh, a takeoff on The Sweet's album, Desolation. Is it The Sweet? Yeah, Desolation Boulevard by The Sweet, with the song uh, Ballroom Blitz. And uh, 